Hi guys, it's Dr. Ron Miller here with CashBasedPhysicalTherapy.org and today we are going to talk about business bank accounts and are you going to do your own books or not. So, what I recommend doing as a small business owner, you know, I recommend actually opening up a business bank account in a local business. You'll get better customer service, you'll get a lot less fees and um, your one-on-one kind of relationship is going to help out a lot more. Remember, as a business owner, you got to reach out to a circle of influence around your local area. And it's much better to reach out to a local business bank for you. You'll, you know, you have less fees, um, better customer service, I think. So I would recommend reaching out to a local business bank. Now, there's other ways of, you know, what type of accounts to open. You know, I wrote another blog about this, or I think I have a, another video about what type of business accounts that I recommend to actually open up. Now, I like to organize my money so it's just not in the one thing. So I have an expenses account, I have a taxes account, I have an HSA account, I have um, a checking account, and then I have a savings account. So I organize my business money into other accounts. So each month, I know my monthly or my weekly business expenses. So whatever revenue comes in goes in this account. I take that amount out, put in new expenses. I know I have to have payroll tax. I know I have to do this. I'm saving money in an HSA account. Um, so I like to create multiple accounts and manage my money that way. So I know that by the end of the month when when my lease is due, I can go right into my expenses account, transfer it back in, and pay it. So I actually recommend opening up um, multiple bank accounts. And again, if you do this through your local bank, you won't have fees with this because they'll offer you like free bit business checking accounts. So you won't have any kind of miscellaneous fees, random little things that are hidden in there. So that's what I recommend to do when it comes to business banking. Now, the question is, are you going to do your own books? You know, again, keep your overhead low. There's no need to pay someone else to do this, especially when you're first starting out. And if you use my business 101 course, there's a pro forma there that you can keep your monthly expenses, your accounts receivable. I give you a whole Excel blueprint that is already programmed and ready to go. You can put whatever titles you want in there and month to month to month it carries it over for a three year plan. So you've got a three year pro forma already lined out for you. I recommend doing it by yourself, consulting with your CPA also to make sure he approves of it and you can do it by yourself. If you don't want to do it, you can outsource it. Um, you can do it with a friend or family member. You can have someone else do it for you. You can have your CPA do it or you can even go through QuickBooks, which is a nice simple thing, which is linked through my credit card reader. So it's all done at once. now. Um, it's up to you on which credit card reader that you use, but I use um, QuickBooks for me currently right now. But when I first started out, I used my pro forma, I had everything in place, all the formulas were in, I was keeping track of it myself. Now I've gotten and grown to a point where I can use QuickBooks and everything goes to my CPA. So um, my recommendations for this video is open up a local business bank account, better customer service, you'll get rid of the miscellaneous fees. And then I recommend when you're starting out, keeping your own business books yourself. You can use my pro forma, maybe use QuickBooks. If you hate that stuff, you don't feel like doing it, you can outsource it a little bit. So hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for your time.